When someone wants something enough, there is little that can stop them from achieving it. One could say that it takes a bit of luck, but ultimately, it's up to you to put yourself in the right situation and have the determination to succeed. This is how I would describe the success of Carrie Kyes, a female sound engineer that carved her path to success in a male-dominated occupation. So today, let's take a look at Carrie Kyes. First, by examining how she became part of the stage crew in a world-renowned rock band. Secondly, by identifying the adversity she faced as a woman in the live audio industry. And lastly, by celebrating all that she has done to pave the way for future female sound engineers. Carrie Kyes has worked with many musical acts over the years, but it was her 28 year long tenure as Pearl Jam's monitor engineer that gave her the most recognition and success. An article for NPR Music on September 4th, 2016 recounts her path to Pearl Jam, beginning at a Black Flag show, which introduced her to her first job in the industry with Rat Sound. Carrie knew immediately that this was her calling, and so she started accepting meager pay and any gig that she could. In 1992, it paid off when Pearl Jam hired her to help finish out their tour, and from there she never looked back. Carrie became commonly known as the mic check girl for Pearl Jam. And while that should tell you everything you need to know about diversity in live audio production, she didn't really give it much thought. In a January 15, 2020 interview with writer Chrissy Ferguson, Carrie explains how difficult it is to even make it into the industry and, and how much sexism she had to face along the way. She learned early on how to best combat that by saying, you know, some of it is just ignoring them, while some of it is just doing the job better than them. But as strong as she was, Carrie guys knew that for there to be more aspiring female sound engineers, it would help if they could see that it's actually possible. And this would lead her to her greatest and most proudest achievement, developing sound girls. Detailed in her January 18th, 2020 interview with Nan, oral history program, Carrie recalls the events that led to the creation of Sound Girls. Due to her success, she was invited to speak at a panel at an audio convention in 2012 with, alongside four other women. This led her to realize how helpful it would have been to have other women in the field to talk to all of those years. Thus, in 2013, Sound Girls was born. Now over 6,000 women in sound engineering have a place to go to unite and to support each other, as well as show the next generation of female sound engineers that success is possible. It's too freaking to be able to work. That's like to find other women in audio, because they're there. Um, and everything that we've done since then has just been the need. So, you know, we're, we're small, keep the board small, decisions can happen really fast, people will call it, like, how about we do this? That sounds awesome, let's do it. It's just freaking build the work. Carrie Kyes defied the odds and gender norms, creating a life for herself that allowed her to follow her dreams. Now she is using that platform to make that dream a reality, to help, to make that dream a reality for other women in live sound. As she said in a December 13th, 2017 interview with the Huffington Post, we can't, we believe that you can't be what you can't see. Carrie Kyes has made it a job to ensure that she and all women in audio production can be seen and heard loud and clear.